What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna talk about a very fun but obscure algorithm or concept in programming that I happen to really, really love and agree with, which is why I'm gonna coin it the best algorithm ever. And this is none other than the ostrich algorithm, named after ostriches, the animal, those big birds that kind of not really have wings but sort of know. And what the ostrich algorithm or concept states is that if you ever encounter in programming a situation where you have some code and this code has a bug in it, but that bug is very, very unlikely to ever occur, though it can occur, and fixing that bug or preventing the bug from you know, popping up is very time consuming or costly, then you should just ignore it. That is what the ostrich algorithm says. And the reason it's named after ostriches is because legend has it that ostriches, when they are in danger, bury their head in the sand so as to just ignore the imminent danger. They don't run away from it. They don't try to face it. They just bury their head in the sand. And here, it's the same thing. Instead of fixing the bug, you just say, eh, you know what, it's probably unlikely to happen, so I'm not going to spend the time to fix it. And the reason that I really love the ostrich algorithm and really agree with it is because I am someone who is very pragmatic, very practical. I've said this in previous videos on this channel. I have always believed that you should put the least amount of effort or spend the least amount of resources to accomplish your goals in a way that is satisfactory. So sometimes that does mean going the extra mile, putting the extra effort. But oftentimes that means not doing that extra sort of 10% or even 80% of the work because oftentimes with 20% of the work, you can get 80% of the outcome. And so here, if you kind of extrapolate this to tie it back to the ostrich algorithm, when you have a potential bug that is extremely unlikely to happen, the pragmatic in me just finds it really, really, really not worth it to spend the time or resources fixing that bug. And this is something that we have done many times on AlgoExpert, my company. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for technical interviews, do check out AlgoExpert. Go to algoexpert.io and use promo code CLAMCLEM for discount on the platform. Form, but there have been many times where we had this small likelihood that a bug would occur. We knew about that bug, but fixing it would either take a lot of time or it would make the code very messy, very complicated, and so we chose to ignore it. Now, of course, this is an art. This is a balancing act. You cannot do this all the time. I'm not advocating that you leave bugs everywhere in your code base. No, a lot of bugs that can be fixed in a medium, let's say, amount of time are worth fixing. But for certain edge cases, and you kind of know them when you encounter them, it is worth just applying the ostrich algorithm. And what's interesting is that I think the ostrich algorithm doesn't only have to do with bugs. Sometimes you can apply the ostrich algorithm to other things. For example, again, on AlgoExpert, there have been a couple times where we had to make a change to an API, for example, for a new feature, and we could either do it the right way or the ostrich way. The right way would involve maybe recreating a brand new API or really making drastic changes to the existing API to make it more you know, semantically accurate, to make it more consumable by third parties, things like that. Or we could just ostrich it up, bury our head in the sand and say, okay, nobody's realistically ever going to use this API other than the internal algo expert team. And so therefore spending the time to recreate this API or make these drastic changes that are going to break a ton of other things in our code base that we're going to then have to go fix and blah, 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 and potentially introduce other bugs. Instead, we're just going to slap an extra field in the API, the existing API, in a place that's not very good, not very correct. It certainly wouldn't pass Google public API reviews, but let's ostrich it up. It's worth it. 
it. And we've done that multiple times. It has never hurt us. It has always kind of worked out for us. Again, I'm not necessarily advocating that you cut corners everywhere, you know, left and right in your code base and your software engineering project, but it is something worth thinking about if you've been the kind of person who has always said, oh my God, I need to do things the right way. I need to fix every single bug. Not necessarily. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Have you ever applied the ostrich algorithm in your own software engineering journey? I'd love to read some of your stories. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.